Fusion is an American digital cable and satellite television network that is a joint venture between the Disney ABC Television Group subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company and Univision Communications, and relies in part on the resources of their respective news divisions, ABC News and Notitia's Univision. In addition to conventional television distribution, Fusion is also streamed on online and mobile platforms to subscribers of participating cable and satellite providers. Launched on October 28, 2013, the network's content features news, lifestyle, pop culture, satire and entertainment aimed at English-speaking millennials, including those of a Hispanic background. The channel is Univision's first major push into English-language programming. Fusion is based out of Newsport, a converted studio facility in the Miami suburb of Doral, Florida that it shares with Notitia's Univision. It maintains additional studios in Los Angeles and bureaus in Mexico City, New York City, and Washington, D.C. Background Fusion is ABC's third attempt in the world of cable news. ABC News and Group W then a division of Westinghouse first launched a 24-hour news channel in 1982 with Satellite News Channel. Due to low clearance from cable systems ABC sold the channel after just over a year on the air to CNN who shut it down. After that ABC News launched ABC News Now which encountered the same problem. In December 2010, the newly appointed president of Notitia's Univision, Isaac Lee, announced plans to start a 24-hour English-language cable news channel aimed at American Hispanics. Univision Communications would later on, in late 2011, enter into discussions with Walt Disney Company-owned ABC News about entering into a joint venture to develop the channel. The discussions bore fruit with the company's formal announcement of the channel on May 8, 2012, initially projecting a debut during the first half of 2013. On October 4, 2013, the company announced it had named Isaac Lee as chief executive officer to replace interim CEO Bo Ferrari. Fusion's formal launch date and its initial programming schedule was announced on August 1, 2013. The channel formally launched on October 28, 2013, buoyed earlier in the day by a simulcast of ABC's Good Morning America and Univision's A Day Spirit to Alma Copyright Rica. Designed to promote Fusion's launch and programming. After leading off with a three-minute musical number at 6.57 p.m. Eastern Time on October 28, 2013, Fusion began regular programming with the debut of America with Jorge Ramos. Fusion's target audience consists mainly of millennials, a group generally regarded as digitally fluent and normally favors social media and Internet sources to gain news and base opinions, usually eschewing traditional broadcast and print sources. To that end, Fusion gears its programming less towards the constant coverage of breaking news, instead emphasizing context and analysis on news and issues, along with interviews, documentaries, and long-form reports on current events, lifestyle, and pop culture. Fusion also employs an on-air blending of serious topics and discussions that is, more often than not, laced with irreverence and humor that aims to reduce the air of pretense and seriousness with which other news outlets treat current topics and issues. The fusion of seriousness and lightheartedness has been evident in Fusion's primetime lineup, America with Jorge Ramos, in its first week alone, has taken a more conventional approach, featuring interviews with President Barack Obama and United States Senator Ted Cruz, while Alicia Menendez tonight has featured more personal and less serious topics and programs including No, You Shut Up have ventured towards irreverence and even satire. Fusion was originally conceived to primarily attract a younger audience of an English-speaking Hispanic and Latino-American background. About one-fifth of millennials are classified as being of Latino descent and have generally been well acclimated with English-language society in the United States either as emigrants or as U.S. nationals by birth. After receiving some backlash during development over concerns that too much of a focus was placed on ethnicity, Fusion would broaden its scope during its development, aiming to engage and champion a young, diverse and inclusive America, regardless of cultural or language background. Isaac Lee, who serves as Fusion CEO in addition to President of News for Univision, 
has stated that Hispanic millennials see themselves as part of the broad American culture and that they want to be part of the same room and part of the same conversation as non-Hispanics. Fusion operates out of a former warehouse in Doral, Florida that is shared with Notitia's Univision. Additionally some resources are also shared with ABC News and Notitia's Univision. However, the network operates separately from ABC's and Univision's news divisions, employing its own on-air talent, correspondents, management, production staff and board of directors. Univision handles programming responsibilities for Fusion, while Disney ABC Television Group provides advertising sales and handles cable and satellite distribution for the channel. ABC News President Ben Sherwood noted that while the channel will eventually feature all original programming, Rep proposed content from ABC News and Univision content airs on the channel during late night time slots, along with paid programming. Programming The initial schedule on Fusion includes programs intended for a younger audience than most cable news shows attract, many of which feature the lively, irreverent approach the network intends to make its hallmark. The network has added new shows and made adjustments since its launch, and carries the following shows as of March 2014. Fusion Live, a one-hour daily program hosted by Mariana Atencio, Pedro Andrade, and Yanis Papas that was what Atencio describes as NPR meets the daily show, presenting news, discussions, interviews, and live performances in an informative yet edgy manner. Originally a two-hour breakfast television show at Fusion's launch, the program moved to a late afternoon early evening berth in March 2014 as part of a major schedule adjustment by Fusion. Alicia Menandes tonight a Euro discussions and commentaries on daily issues featuring former Half Post Live host Alicia Menendez, no, you shut up. A Euro a 15-minute combination of topical discussion and comedy. Executive produced by former Daily Show writer-producer David Javabalm and created by the Jim Henson Company, the show stars Paul F. Tompkins and a panel of puppet commentators. Good Morning Today a Euro also produced by David Javabalm and Henson Alternative, this 15-minute show spoofs conventional breakfast television programming, with the setting a morning news show in an alternate universe populated by live-action personalities and computer-animated anchors. The show is filmed with the use of the Jim Henson Company's Digital Puppet Studio, a proprietary technology that enables performers to physically puppeteer and voice computer-generated characters in real time. America with Jorge Ramos a Euro reports, analysis, interviews, and discussions on significant news topics hosted by the Notice Euro Univision anchor. Originally a daily newscast at Fusion's launch, America moved to once weekly installments in March 2014, allowing the program and Ramos to do field reports and other long-form features. Back home a Euro a weekly documentary style show that follows celebrity guests making voyages to their family's country of origin, Strange Medicine a Euro a medical news program hosted by Dr. Juan Rivera, Univision's chief medical correspondent who trained at the prestigious Johns Hopkins Hospital. The Soccer Gods, a weekly program that offers an irreverent, nuanced, North American perspective on the sport of soccer and the pomp and passion that surrounds it. Fusion Investigates, the banner name for Fusion's long-form investigative and narrative programming and the team devoted to it, emphasizing stories that will have an impact, and topics such as the economy, immigration, injustice, and corruption. Former Shows, DNA. A Euro are now a long interactive show focused on social issues hosted by Derek Ashong, Sports Talkers a Euro a half-hour show hosted Rebecca Delgado-Smith. Billy Scafuri and Adam Lustig that combined elements of sports talk radio and improvisational comedy, open source a Euro A show hosted by KMEXDT news anchor Lee Cubed N. Claus that covers a mix of politics, pop culture and really weird stuff. Just as with America with Jorge Ramos, open source began as a nightly program before shifting to weekly installments in March 2014. Key Personnel, Executive Leadership Isaac Lee a Euro Chief Executive Officer, Daniel Eilenberg a Euro Senior Vice President, Chief Digital Officer, Eric Lieberman a Euro Vice President, General Counsel, Tania Linares a Euro Vice President, Business Affairs and Associate General Counsel, Joel Klicksberg a Euro Vice President, Chief Strategy Officer, Mark Lima a Euro Vice President, News, 
Tom Finn a Euro Chief Financial Officer, George Lansbury, Vice President, Programming and Production, David Ford, Vice President, Communications and Public Relations, Leilani Garrido, Senior Director, Human Resources, Michael Berkman, Vice President, Creative Services, Key Hires, Towards Its One Year Anniversary, A Series of high-profile hires of digital native journalists created high expectations for the young media company. NPR's David Falkenflick called Fusion one of the most interesting experiments we've seen in television since the emergence of Fox News. Hong Kong Euro Chief Technology Officer, Jane Spencer, Editor-in-Chief, Digital Platforms, Anna Holmes, Editor, Digital Voices, Felix Salmon, Senior Editor, Digital, Mariana Santos, Director, Innovative Storytelling, Dodi Stewart, Director of Cultural Coverage, Alexis Madrigal, Editor, Silicon Valley, Board of Directors, Anne Sweeney a Euro Co-Chairman, Disney Media Network's President, Disney ABC Television Group, James Goldston a Euro President of ABC News, Kevin Mayer a Euro Executive Vice President, Corporate Strategy and Business Development for the Walt Disney Company. Andrew Hobson a Euro Senior Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer for Univision Communications, Juan Carlos Rodriguez. A Euro President, Univision Deports, John Eke a Euro Executive Vice President, Technology, Operations and Engineering for Univision Communications, Carriage and Content Distribution. By the time that Disney ABC and Univision announced the channel's name a Euro Fusion a Euro on February 11, 2013. The channel already signed carriage agreements with major pay television providers including Verizon, Cablevision, Charter Communications, Cox Communications, AT&T U-verse and Google Fiber. The channel is primarily carried on the digital basic tiers of participating providers, and premiered to a reach of approximately 20 million homes, one-fifth of the total U.S. households with subscription television services. Fusion is currently seeking carriage on additional providers, with deals pending or not yet reached with notable providers including Comcast and Time Warner Cable. The channel was added to the Dish Network lineup after a new carriage deal was reached between Dish and Disney. Currently the channel on Dish Network airs only in 480 ISD. On the week of September 22, 2014, Fusion was placed in test mode on Direct Channel 342 in preparation for launch on the carrier along with sister channel the Longhorn Network as part of a carriage deal that got Direct the SEC network. As of November 13, 2014, Longhorn Network and Fusion may soon be removed from test mode as Direct and ESPN were unable to reach a carriage agreement. Fusion's goal, according to Board of Directors member and ABC News President Ben Sherwood, is to reach 60 million homes within five years of its debut. Fusion replaced ABC News now on most cable systems. That network ceased operations on October 28, 2013, the day of Fusion's debut. In addition to its on-air presence, Fusion posts nearly all of its content online through its Fusion.net website. The network also plans to have a mobile app for use in smartphones and tablet computers up and running in 2014. References External links Official website, Millennial TV, podder360.com, Fusion to pair cookie creatures with veteran anchors to hook young viewers on news, variety.